Well, there's been a sort of correspondence between your narrative of the fourth turning and my own of the long emergency version of events. And either way, we do seem to be entering the heart of the crisis. So are we there? Oh, I think we're definitely there. Um, and you can just see the different kinds of, of issues we're confronting simultaneously, right? We're, uh, a fundamental issue of, of, of public trust, right? Right. Uh, which which is always the core issue of a fourth turning and the uh, the the kind of precipitating out of, of of all these, you know, sort of unconnected individuals who don't know where to turn are are are, are some great, you know, political and ideological tribes. Right. Which are forming today. Um, and I think that's that's one danger, of course, is internal conflict. Another danger is external conflict. And in fact, these are the great manifestations of fourth turning resolutions is internal and external conflict. Yeah. And the other in, in collapse of trust is, um, is economic crisis. Um, uh, you know, when, when, when the bubble collapses ultimately. So those are sort of three dimensions you can look at. And I think, People are very aware of all those today. I think um, what's what's particularly poignant about the economic problems we're facing is that it is generational, meaning that it is younger people who simply aren't getting ahead. Uh, and all the data we have, you know, shows that, you know, of people who were born, say, in the early 1940s, uh, 90 percent of them. Uh, did better than their parents by age 30 or 40. But since 1960, it's only about half. And now with the millennials, it's actually getting less than half. And for, for men, it's actually been less than half for quite a while. So, so this, is what, this is an additional part of the, the crisis, if you will, the crisis of trust, is that younger people are turning against um, democracy. And I, I say that very advisedly, and this comes from actually, you know, the Cambridge University Center for the Future of Democracy, who's probably the, the biggest single compiler of, of surveys around the world. And they've shown this definitively in almost every country, particularly Anglophone countries, particularly in the United States and English speaking countries, um, you see that there's this enormous shift from older generations to younger generations in um, uh, in attachment to democracy. That is to say, today, older people are much more likely, you know, <laughs> 20, 30, 40 percentage points more likely to say, I think it's really important we live in a democracy, much less important to younger people. And not just by age, but even if you look at young people, young people 30 or 40 years ago were much more likely to give positive responses. So in other words, it's not just an age effect. That's what I want to make clear. It, it is clearly a generational effect. Yeah. And I think that what younger generations believe, see is just it's not working. You know, what we call a democracy is really a vetocracy, right? We talk well, about I sense that, that we actually have uh, the, the whole idea of what democracy is, what it consists of, is very unsettled right now. It's, and it's impoverished. And there's an awful lot of bullshit that's uh, surrounding the discussion of it. I agree. I totally agree. And uh, but that's kind of where that's kind of where we are. It has an economic component. And I think one thing we always see from the middle of a fourth turning to the end is a regrowth in community. And it, this is a um, uh, an exciting also a dangerous, it's exhilarating, it's also perilous, right? Yeah. There's nothing more dangerous than to t take a society which has been moving, um, you know, which is demanding less order and, and you know, institutions supplying less order. And then finally what happens is the people begin to demand more order again. Sure. Right? sure. And sooner or later the institutions start supplying order. And when you look around the world and you see these these trends toward populism and authoritarianism, um, it, it's, it's, 
it's the response to that demand. And we, we see that we see that in so many places around the world, obviously.